when we look at veterinary medicine, most people think in terms of taking their pet to their veterinarian for immunizations or injuries or treatments. But really, veterinarians have a very broad application and are playing a really important role right now in the field. And right here in San Diego County, we're collaring uh, mountain lions to follow their movements to help fish and game, whose responsibility it is to manage our native wildlife, understand more about those animals, how to protect land. It's based on the downloads off those collars that we establish where they move and how they move and when they eat and when they have offspring and what they do with their offspring and when the offspring disperse. And so that helps us decide if we have a critical corridor where some of the other land trust organizations are going to put their funds into acquiring the most important critical habitat or land parcels that are part of those corridors to give these animals a chance to move and thrive. And so this information that is being acquired every time you put a collar on a mountain lion, you have to knock that animal down. You have to tranquilize or immobilize that animal, and that requires a veterinarian to participate so that if that animal runs into any trouble after it's been tranquilized, that there's a veterinarian there to deal with it. I work with a veterinary team in Tanzania. Their job is to monitor wildlife and the wildlife domestic animal livestock interface because they have lost a very rare endangered wild dogs as a result of introduced rabies from domestic dogs that the stockmen uh, close to the boundaries of these parks have uh, to protect their herds. If you have cattle and cattle um, have a disease and you have wildlife passing through, then they can infect the wildlife. If these are threatened or reduced populations, it could wipe out a whole population of animals. Vice versa, if wildlife is moving through areas where domestic stock is being raised to feed a growing population of people, and that those animals infect domestic stock, then it can wipe out herds of domestic animals. So the wildlife veterinarian's job is to do necropsies, to monitor what's going on health-wise, both with domestic animals and wild animals, and sometimes humans as well, and, and watching the transmission of disease and trying to be ahead if there's an outbreak to deal with it. So they might, for instance, immunize livestock or, or pets, dogs, really they're, they're more service animals there. Um, they, they might look at how to control the introduction of disease to wildlife uh, that could be a threat to those populations. So uh, in Kenya, the same thing, the Wildlife Service deals with health issues. It's really coming to be more of one health. The first conference was held that really brought together human physicians and veterinarians to look collectively 